Hello and welcome to another Mods World video. It's me, Mario. I know this is a lot of videos in a row right now, but there has been some heavy requests for me to release my Dragon Base load order, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. This was built over on my Discord server with the help of a lot of really awesome people. If you'd like to be a part of a community like that where we help others with orders, discuss mods, or just talk, then please check the description for a link to that. We would love to have you. Let's start off by talking about some features of this order. First and foremost, the dragons as they are the main focus. I'm going to start with scales like broadswords, as this mod came out and flipped my original order on its head and I'm actually glad it did. It's doing a ton of the heavy lifting here. It includes Zim's dragons for the named beasts as well as special trophies. We also get Splendor for a whole host of new spawns all across the world space but the cherry on top is Serio. This mod is just crazy, it totally revamps the dragon AI to be more aggressive and makes them feel like an actual faction too. Every time you kill a dragon you build hate between yourself and them. The higher the hate, the more chance of being attacked in the wild or reinforcements showing up to help them. This pairs really well with Splendor to create an absolutely nutty experience in the game with upwards of 8 dragons on the bounce coming at you. However there is a setting so you can just tailor this to your desires. Sometimes a chain of too many dragons can detract from the game and make it really difficult to explore. But as dragons are what the order is all about I'm just going to let it fly. Naturally I didn't stop there. I had to add in my favourite new spawn in Dwemer Mechanical Dragons. These things aren't really dragons, but because they act like them and look like them, I'm going to count them. I recently had these in one of my Top Mods Weekly videos and I'm pretty sure they'll be in a ton of orders down the line. These are the Automaton answer to dragons and they are truly truly epic. Because of their in-game placement, sometimes you end up watching them in battles with other dragons which is just awesome. The last mod in the dragon part of the setup is Diverse Dragon Collection. I think we all know this mod by now and probably all thought it was going to make an appearance here. DDC simply adds in some of the coolest looking dragons in the game with some crazy new combat styles worthy of any boss. Generally speaking I find these a little bit weak on their own but when bolstered by scales like broadswords they are far more deadly and can cause death all across the map so good luck with that. The entire point of this setup is to make dragons feel like an actual ever present threat. Sometimes in Skyrim you can just go days without even seeing one. Alongside all of those I'm also using the Winter Sun bundle by Substill as certain divines are going to reward you for the dragon slaying. This made it feel like there was an actual point to killing them, more than just for the story or for some twisted fun. But in that vein I also decided to include Truly Absorb Dragon Souls Heavy, The Fire Within and The Power of the Dragonborn to really play into the aspect of being a dragon slayer. Those coupled with cinematic dragon soul absorption have made being the dragonborn feel actually epic and rewarding. But don't worry about becoming too powerful because of all of this, you will soon be outnumbered by the dragons themselves. So with all of that in mind, you're going to need to do a few things to somewhat mitigate the potential disasters. I mean, you could lose an entire city to one errant dragon, so the several that might show up is going to be an unmitigated disaster. To help with this, I've added in Bells of Skyrim and Run For Your Lives. This combo makes it so yourself, guards or citizens can sound the newly placed alarms in the towns. Once this is done, the townsfolk will run to safety as best they can and the guards will swarm. This is such a brilliant way of keeping people safe, but the idea of danger still being there. I highly advise this in many order styles, but in this one it's more of a necessity. Otherwise, I have left the town alone for everyone to choose your own styles, be it JKs, the Great Cities or whatever style suits you best. Personally, I think the Great Cities would suit the order best as it builds more castle style large walls and defences. It's also worth taking a look at the fortified mods such as Whiterun and Riften which aren't covered by the Great City mods. There really is plenty of give left over with this order because I focus so hard on the dragon aspect of it. It may also be worth throwing something like the Living World bundle into the mix to create more life in the wilds. Things like bandit camps and more destroyed history of Skyrim. I left it out as it can clash with other edits but it should be fine in the order as it currently stands. Moving on to the textures where by popular demand from subscribers I'm using Skyland all in one which is a brilliant mod for creating a vanilla plus look but also has superbly friendly performance. This will allow you to make a fair few additions to the world without hitting that tipping point. If you'd need a hand with that please do join the discord server I would be happy to help. 
In a similar vein to Skyland, I opted for more simple, but still pretty weapons and armours, with variations, better shaped weapons and real bows. There's a ton of space here for you to use your favourite replacers should you wish, but this combo is looking really nice without stepping away from what makes Skyrim so special. I am of course going to be using the grasses your mother warned about, which I recently made a showcase on. You'll find that in the top corner now. These are the new grasses from Pyrock, and they make the game look truly next gen without harming your performance. When it comes to graphics, there isn't much to say in this order. It definitely looks really nice, but the order wasn't about that. But spoiler alert, my next one will be. That's right, I'm shamelessly plugging my next order during the video for my current one. But back onto this one. I have tried where possible to slot in the most up-to-date mods, using a ton of things I've covered in the top mods weekly videos. I'm doing this so on one hand, the orders continue to move forward and evolve as much as they physically can. And on the other, you get to see where I would physically slot them into my version of the logical load order. Some of the main ones that I've been enjoying have totally changed the movement styles of characters. Animated looting, for example, to give actions to things like opening chests or doors and getting items from slain enemies. Then movement behaviors enhanced for some procedural leaning and more realistic body physics. This is helping me to feel more a part of my character and to be able to move him as I would. Well, as I would if I was any good in a fight. This mod also comes with a built-in ultimate dodge mod that's actually working better than the original, likely due to the edits made to movement. To top these off, I've gone for Vanagand animations for the females, which makes them feel a bit lighter and more fluid, alongside Leviathan animations for the males, as it makes them feel heavier and more rigid while still looking really nice. This is the first time I've ever bothered to separate male and female animations, and it really does add a lot to the realism. This setup doesn't make the women an offensive stereotype like many other female animations, so it's the first time I've ever wanted to try something like this. Let's be honest, there's a lot of female animations that look like they were made by someone who hasn't ever seen a woman before? Okay, let's get back on track to an opinion that someone might actually ask me for. What display enhancements would suit this order? Well, that is going to depend on what you're after seeing, so I am going to throw a few of them out there. If you want it light and bright like a high fantasy game, then presets 1, 21, 21, 24, 21 and 21 with contrast up by 2 and minus 5 or 6 saturation is going to really suit that. This looks really nice with bright and popping colours and it's what you're currently seeing on the screen. My good friend Sir Tilt shared that one with me. If you're after the inverse, I suggest my patented dark fantasy setup using presets 3, 9 and 10 with plus 2 contrast and plus 2 or 3 saturation. Again, this is going to make the brighter colours really pop out whilst maintaining a nice dark overtone. Alternatively, as I'm using Rustic Weathers, you could just use the Rustic Weathers presets and see if something there takes your fancy. This is definitely the far easier option. That's pretty much everything setup wise that I wanted to talk about. But before I end, I just wanted to thank everyone over on the Discord for such great suggestions. This is an order that many people put together and I'm really impressed with it. I've had a lot of fun playing with this one and I hope you all do as well. It was really great building this with all of you. And I plan on doing this again in the future, but you'll all have to let me know what kind of orders you'd be interested in seeing going forward. And on that, I am gonna call it. Whatever you choose to do with this order, as we have left a lot of room for your spin, I'd like to see the results, so make sure to come and share that with us over on the Discord server. You'll find a link to that, as well as the full mod lineup in the description below. If this has helped, and you'd like to see more content like this, then please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment. This will really help to push my work out there with YouTube's algorithm. But either way, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.